All right, man. So you want to learn the Total Eclipse rolling fills today, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's, not, it's like, like I've been focusing on that for a while, but I can't, I don't know, I just can't grasp it. All right, so let's just start from where you're at with the movement. So if you don't mind, perform what you know of the Total Eclipse rolling fills, and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, yeah that, that's not a rolling fill. That's a chase. Yeah, that's what's happening. Everything, everything just turns into a chase pattern. I don't know why. All right, so here's the thing. Before I even begin to teach you the Total Eclipse rolling fills... I need to verify if you know how to do the rock the bells pattern. I don't know. I don't know. Because you might be trying to make a leap that physically you just can't make right now. Like, I, I saw you go into a chase and even the chase wasn't clean. Yeah, I mean, if I do the regular chase, it's going to be clean. All right. Unless you're trying to throw stuff in there, it's like... All right, here, here's more so what I'm trying to say. You can't get from here to here without taking the necessary steps to get through here. Okay. So before I teach you the Total Eclipse Rolling Fills, I need to verify if you could do the Rock the Bells pattern. The reason I say I need to verify whether or not you could do the Rock the Bells pattern before we get into the Rolling Fills is because Eclipse's Rolling Fills is just a combination of two root movements. Remember the root moves that I've talked to you about? Yeah. Okay, so in order to do the rolling fills, you have to understand how to perform the Rock the Bells pattern and the Sucker MC snare fills together. Okay. So if you can't do those two root movements together, combined, you won't be able to do the rolling fills. So first, let's do the Rock the Bells pattern. I'm going to demonstrate it and see if you could just mimic the moves without me walking you step by step. Okay. All right, here we go. Could you do that? No. <laughs> All right, so, so we, give it a shot. Okay. So... So yeah, that's that's the third root movement that I teach, the offset backspin. Coincidentally, <laughs> the fourth root move that I teach is the Rock the Bells pattern. So I'm assuming that the last lesson that we had, maybe over a year ago. It was like two, yeah, like two, two summers, summers, three summers, summers ago. ago. Okay then. So then the last lesson that we had, we left off at the offset backspin. Okay. I don't even, I even forgot, I can't, that's the one I really have, like, worked on. We did that one time, I forgot it. Well, the, the, the root moves don't really leave you. It's like riding a bike. Like, once you learn, you, you'll you always remember how to ride a bike. You muscle memory, kind of? Yeah, you may be rusty in the beginning, but the moves yeah. come back to you because yeah. they're already ingrained into your head. Okay. So, but the Total Eclipse Rolling Fills is a combination of the fourth root movement which is the Rock the Bells pattern, and okay. the last three root moves, which are fills. Okay. And there's no way that you're going to be able to jump from the offset backspin to the total eclipse rolling fills. So we have to figure out a way to help you take one step at a time to get to that level where you can execute the rolling fills. And that's why you haven't been able to grasp it. It's because there are other root moves that I haven't taught you yet. Okay. Okay. So yeah. the next root move that we need to learn on your journey to learn how to execute 
the rolling fills that Eclipse does is the Rock the Bells pattern. Okay. So the first thing that I want to teach you is the initial level, how to start the pattern. So okay. what you're going to do is you're going to queue up the right turntable okay. at the beginning to the one. And I want you to just do this. Right? So what you're going to do is drop the right turntable, swap to the left, drop from the one. When you hear the snare, then just move the fader back to the right. And and by then, your record hand should be at the beginning, at the one of the top of the drum beat. Okay. All right? So it's going to be... And then move the fader back to the right and rest. And then do the pattern again. And then move the fader to the right, rest a little, and do the pattern again. Give it a shot. That was good. That was good. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. This record. All right, stop. Stop. It's it's not it's not the record. It's you. Need a little more push. No, it's not that. You you need to learn how to control the record better. See, now you have your right hand at nine o'clock, but a few seconds ago you had your right hand closer to like six thirty. Okay. And you're not going to be able to control your juggle movements with your hand at six thirty. Okay. The same way you'll be able to control the moves with your hand at 9. You have better control of the records at 9 o'clock than you do down here. And yeah. a few seconds yeah. ago, you had your hand down here. That's why the record, you just you were moving. Your hand was moving because you didn't have control of it. So okay. control your hand so that you're not hearing extra noise that shouldn't be there. Okay. See where your hand is? You see where your right hand is? Yeah. You can your hand needs to be at nine, bro. All right, stop. You just did the second level of the Rock the Bells pattern, and you probably weren't aware of it. So it might be a good idea for us to start trying to get you to understand that second level because you're doing it inadvertently. So what you're going to do now is when you drop the left turntable, your okay. left hand takes the fader, crosses over to the right, and then back to the left. Okay. As you're doing that first level move, you need to add one more step. And that step is going to be taking your left hand, crossing over to the right, back to the left. Does that make sense? Kind of. <laughs> Let's see. Stop. When you let go, stop, 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 stop. When you let go of the left record, your left hand, pause the left turntable, and I want you to put move the fader to the left side. And I want you to take your hand and just do this. Do it faster. Do it faster. So, so when you let go of the left record, that's what your left hand does. That was it. You just did it. Right. That was good. That was good. There it is, Matt. Yes. Oh, shit. 
Is that it? That's it. That's it. Now, what do we do to end the pattern if you're going to start it from the left? Oh, fuck. These are brain busters, man. <laughs> I I wanted to learn how to do the roll of fills. Is that it? I'm asking you, what do you oh. do if you're starting the pattern on the left side now? What do you do? What's the next step? Back on the left and go back to the first kick, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. There it is. Yes. Do you hear a difference now? Yeah, I can hear the whole snare now. <laughs> so what was the issue much. for you? What do you think the problem was when you were first doing it on your own? I was rushing it. Yeah. That's it. Pretty much. So now let's apply the pattern to a different song. Because you're not going to pull out Steezo every time you want to do a beach over. you got to be able to exactly. add these moves over yes. a variety of different songs, right? Yes, 100%. So let's grab something different. 